Yes, 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 yes! And in case you haven't read the title, finally, NASCAR has ended the partnership with Motorsport Games, and, oh boy, let me tell you, every single NASCAR gaming fan are freaking pleased by this. So if you don't know who Motorsport Games are, well, they're the people who made the infamous NASCAR 21 Ignition and launched it in October of 2021, hence the name. And if you can expect, that game was a complete and utter nightmare. Two years. I've said this so many times, I'm going to keep saying it because you can't. You can't make this crap up. Two years in development for that NASCAR game and it was a downgrade. It was a glitchy, garbage mess. And then we went a year without a new NASCAR console game, which which was a good thing because, holy crap, we can't have another NASCAR 21 Ignition. But then they, but then they announced an update for NASCAR Heat 5, and it doesn't come out for 8 months. The update goes to 21 Ignition, which was the next-gen update, which was for 2022. And then eight months later, earlier in, in June of this year, the 2022 DLC for Heat 5 comes out and it breaks the game. Career mode, custom cars, freaking custom setups, all that was gone. You couldn't do those anymore like you could in the original NASCAR Heat 5 game. So finally, after freaking a long time of suffering for NASCAR fans, from motorsport games and competence and idiocracy and this former CEO Dmitry Kozgrov, I don't care if I say his last name wrong because he's an idiot, being an idiot as always and motorsport games making a bullcrap press conference, NASCAR has finally ended their partnership with motorsport games. Now this opens the door for a lot of other gaming companies to make NASCAR games with, hang on, hang on a second, I'm trying to block out that light. This opens the door for other NAS for other gaming companies to make to get the exclusive NASCAR license. Now, here's the thing: no one knows who it's going to be yet. I do not, and a lot of people have been saying EA Sports should get it. Here's the problem: if you played any of today's EA Sports games, then you know that there's a lot of issues with them. They don't work as well as the old EA Sports games used to work. I have a lot of old EA Sports games like NASCAR Thunder 2003, which was a game that, which was the which was the first NASCAR game I actually played, which helped me get into the sport, like many others. Um, I wouldn't want personally. I don't want EA Sports to make NASCAR games anymore because the way they are, just I don't think any more NASCAR fans should have to deal with uh, another broken NASCAR game. Yes, they. Yes, I did say. Uh, that NASCAR should go to Codemasters my last time I talked about something like this. But that was before I learned that Codemasters got bought by EA Sports and are now owned by EA Sports. You can just keep calling them Codemaster all you want, but they're owned by EA Sports. Kind of like how Marvel is owned by Disney or how DC is owned by Warner Brothers. You can call them... You can keep calling them by their own names, but it don't matter because they're owned by a bigger company. So yeah, I don't think it's good. I I don't think it's a good idea to have NASCAR go back to EA Sports with the way their games are. Um, I don't want Monster Games unless if Monster Games were to change the game engine they're using. They're using Unity. Um, I've played the NASCAR Heat games from Heat Two to Heat Five. Um. I don't really... Okay. To say this short, the physics in NASCAR Heat games aren't really good. For example, in real life, when you see a driver hit the wall, they'll just scrape the wall. But in the in Heat 5, in the Heat games, they'll go up against the wall and they'll catapult off the wall. Which does not make sense. So, I don't want... Mon unless Monster Games were to change the game engine from Unity to Unreal Engine, I don't want them to make NASCAR games because I don't want to have to deal with them another one of those again. I do like the Heat games, I'm not going to lie. I think they're okay. They're not perfect. I think they're okay. But, I don't, personally, I don't want Monster Games to make, unless they were to change the game engine, then I'd be okay with it, but, um, sorry about that. Um, 
I don't want Monster Games to make another NASCAR game unless they change the game engine. Um, hey, give me a minute. I had to change my phone, my phone, phone sound to vibration because it was distracting me. Um, anyways. Uh, I would like, um, another company to make a NASCAR game besides EA Sports and besides Monster Games. Because, you know, again, if Monster Games were to change the game engine they use, uh, then it'd be okay with Monster Games making a NASCAR game. But, um, unless they change it from Unity to Unreal, I don't, I don't want another NASCAR game from Monster Games. Even though, even if they are partnered by iRacing, if you don't know what iRacing is, uh, you should look it up. Um, this opens the door for other gaming companies. Uh, for me, I would like uh, Milestone Motorsports. If you don't know who they are, or Milestone Sports, who are, whatever, however they call themselves. If you don't know who they are, they're the people who made these Monster Energy Supercross games. I played this actually. I haven't yet to play the second one, but. I played this, and it is really freaking good, I'm not going to lie. I would like Milestone to make a, to make a NASCAR game, um, if they're interested in it. Um, I'm not sure if they are going to be interested in making a NASCAR game, but I hope they are, because I think a game from them would be good. They, um, But I watched a video from Black Flags Matter a few moments ago. And he says something that I'm going to agree with. Um, I don't want them to just straight up make a game right or late like that. I would like them to at least take a year or two to watch the sport, learn about it and all of that, and then make it, and then make the game so that we don't have another issue like we had with motorsport games. Because I think, I think they'd probably be good at it. Again, I say probably, probably, oh my gosh, English. Probably, probably, I think, I don't know how to freak to say it. I'm not sure if Milestone would be interested in a NASCAR game, in making a NASCAR game. I'm not sure. But if they are, um, I would like to wait a year or two just for them to, possibly three, I don't know. But I would like to wait a year or two for them to study the sport and then make a NASCAR game, so, and the reason why I bring them up is because, um, they have an awesome feature where you can customize, where you can not only customize your own bike, your own rider, but you can also create your own racetrack, and I would like that feature in a NASCAR game, we've never had that before, and I'm not going to count iRacing, I mean console NASCAR games, uh, we've never had that feature before, um, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want uh, Team Six Games making a NASCAR game. If you don't know who they are, they are the people behind the uh, Monster Jam Battlegrounds and Monster Jam Crusher games, and the uh, and a new NHRA game that came out last year. Um, they're not really good at all. Like I played Monster Jam Crush it. It's a terrible Monster Jam game. Um, I think they're only special. Again, I. They are not a good company. They have some problems with it, but I think a good. I think their only specialty is drag racing. Now, it's not to say that their drag racing games are perfect. They also have some issues. For example, the NHRA game I have. Um, if you go into an NHRA event, you know that there are black little thin boxes that in between the Christmas tree light to help the driver see the light and not have it get blocked out by the sun or you know blend in with the sun to make it hard for the driver and. Surprise, surprise, they made that mistake. Um, also, the if you Google Top Fuel Dragster's Parachute in real life and then Top Fuel Dragster's Parachute in NHRA Speed for All, you can see the parachutes are freaking huge compared to the cars. And they have yet to fix that mistake. And also, there's a there's also a problem with the jump start. Um, apparently, if you jump start in the game, you either... You're either gonna get a green light or you're gonna get a red light. I, I don't. It don't freaking matter. It doesn't. I don't know. It's so confusing. Um, yeah, I don't know who's gonna make this NASCAR game. I would like to wait a year or two for the company to study the sport and then make a good NASCAR game. Otherwise, we're just gonna have the same issue we had like with motorsport games. Um, again, personally, I would like Milestone to make a NASCAR game. I think they probably do good. Um, 
I know a lot of people are going to say M Monster Games and, or EA Sports should make a NASCAR game. One, I don't want EA Sports with the way they are. Unless they fix the way they are and actually make good games, then I'd be okay. But in the meantime, no, I don't want EA Sports making a NASCAR game. I know I said Codemasters, but I'm taking it back because they're owned by EA Sports. Um, unless if Monster Games were to change the game engine they use from Unity to Unreal, um, I don't want a NASCAR game coming from them because I do not want to go through another NASCAR game with the Unity engine and have to risk with always the issue with catapulting off a wall and um, having to get body slammed. This is true, by the way, because I've experienced this. In online racing, there are dirty drivers. and In real life, when you see a race car come across someone's nose, they'll spin out like that. But in, that, in the NASCAR heat games, they'll come down and they'll body slam you and wreck you. So, uh, yeah, unless Monster Games were to change the game engine they use, I do not want another NASCAR game with the Unity engine. Um, again, I don't know if Milest Milestone will be interested in making a NASCAR game. Again, if, if, keyword if, if they were going to be interested, I would like to wait a year or two for a new NASCAR game so they can study the sport and um, learn why it's so popular and its history and everything and then make a, my, excuse me, and then make a NASCAR game. Again, I don't know. This opens the door for so many NASCAR... For, I keep saying NASCAR so much. What the heck? This opens the door for so many video gaming companies to make a NASCAR games with the NASCAR game... With the exclusive NASCAR license. But, again, I would like to wait a year or two just for the game to be good. Because I don't want to go through another 21 Ignition. Heck no. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say. Um, so, yeah. This opens the door... Personally, I want Milestones to make the game, to make a NASCAR game. I want them to wait a year or two, maybe three. I don't know. However long it takes for them to study the sport and understand its history and why it's so popular, I would like that. And um, I don't want a game. I don't want a NASCAR game from EA Sports unless they fix their issue with which is being completely greedy and making broken games. And I don't want a game from. I don't want a NASCAR game from Monster Games unless they were to change the game engine they use, which is Unity. I will us they change it from Unity to Unreal. Uh, but in the meantime, right now I'm hoping I'm voting for Milestone to make a, to make a NASCAR game. Again, I don't know if they are. Again, it's an if. If they're interested, that'd be great. I want them to take two years, maybe three, to study the sport and then make a game. But if they're not, then I don't know. I don't really know. This is all these are all wild guesses. I don't really know if they're gonna be right or not, but Right now, Motorsport Games, um, nobody's going to miss you for making NASCAR games. Thanks for almost killing the NASCAR console, um, NASCAR console gaming for everybody. And NASCAR, thank you for finally ending your partnership with this company. After so many times of proof that this company did not care for your fans. The only other sport that did not do that did not make the smart decision is IndyCar. IndyCar is still partnered with Motorsport Games, and quite frankly, they I've learned from an IndyCar fan from yesterday that uh, they're not really good with the uh, with marketing. Somehow, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how the heck you make a popular open wheel sport in America and not do good with marketing. How the heck? Uh, but yeah. So, anyways. Uh, so long, Motorsport Games. No, no NASCAR fan is gonna miss you. Thank you for almost killing the NASCAR console experience for everybody. And as always, have a nice flying day or night. Let me know who you should think make a NASCAR game. Do you? And tell me why. And um, yeah. With that being said, as always, have a nice flying day or night. I'll see you all next time. Motorsport Games. Sayonara. Bye-bye, everybody.